guys, we are starting off today's vlog with a very unflattering angle, but welcome to Vlogmas Day 6, I believe. Let me check that. Yep, it's day 6. Jonathan is off at work already. I don't really have any plans for this morning. I have piano lessons after school and then um, we're going out to Jonathan's dad's for dinner tonight, but until about 4 o'clock I have no plans. So just saying in advance, if today's vlog is super, super boring, I'm sorry, I just, I'm not really, I might make cookies, maybe. I need to go up to the shops and pick up some makeup remover pads, but I need to walk up because obviously Jonathan's got the car. I need to email a lady at the university to tell her that everything's been handed in now because I'm pretty sure it has. And I need to edit yesterday's vlogmas, but... I mean, none of that is interesting content for you guys. First of all, I need to have a shower and get dressed. I'm showered, I'm dressed, I'm wearing this dress from Dotty Navy Blue, because you know me, I love my navy blue. And I just realized my day got a whole lot more exciting because I need to put a washing on. A washing? I need to put a wash on, I need to do the washing. By the way, if you can hear construction, it's because there is, I think there's a house being built, like not directly behind us, but one over. I'm just having a piece of toast with peanut butter for breakfast this morning because we're out of bananas, so I can't have a smoothie. And I need to remember to drink lots of water because it's so hot these days. So this is my second glass, I've already had my first one. hung out. Yesterday's vlog is exporting. I found Evie now, not that I was looking for her, but now that she's come to me, I do need to give her her pill. It's not for anything serious, she's just got a spot on her back where she's losing fur, so this just helps with that. She just has to take a little bit, um, like a quarter of a pill once a week. And she really likes these ones, they smell like Marmite, so she it's really easy to get her to take it. What's this? Good girl. Let me find the right one. This one. Good girl. Oh, my cutie pie. No, you can't have the other one yet. It's for next week. No, no. No, you can't. Not yet. Yesterday's vlog has just finished exporting. So I need to make a thumbnail for that one quickly and upload it. It is currently half past ten and once I've done that I need to pop up to the shops and get the makeup pads and I think I'll pick up some bananas while I'm there as well. I need to get new shoes. I've only been wearing these ones for like maybe a month and they're already so worn. Okay, I have a plan. So you know how I said I have my piano lessons this afternoon? Well, I've bought these two... Oop, <laughs> I just hit myself in the glasses. Anyway, I bought these two blank CDs and for the last few weeks we've been... or my student... I have been recording my students playing songs that they know how to play quite well and our plan is to put them onto these two CDs and give them to their parents for Christmas. So obviously at the moment I have the two piano students. One of them is managing to record a lot faster than the other one. So one of them has about 
eight songs that are ready to be burned onto the CD and the other one maybe three or four and we probably only have two possibly three lessons left before Christmas because we've got one today and today is the 6th there'll be another one next week on the 13th and then the 20th is like pushing it I don't know if they're gonna want lessons that close to Christmas so today may be our last chance to record stuff and also to like make I don't know like paper art stuff to go in the CD like I want them to do a song list each that can go on the back of the CD and then I thought it would be quite nice if they did like a little mini Christmas card and stuck it in the front and obviously if we're doing that during piano lesson time that is time that we're not using to actually play the piano because we'll be doing art instead and I haven't told their parents we're trying to keep it a secret if possible so if their parents hear that we're like not playing piano they'll be like what are you doing <laughs> So I'm not really sure how to make it work and how to get it done in time because I don't want any of this to be my work. Like I don't want to make the covers for them or anything. I want everything that the parents hear and see to be their children, not their children's piano teacher, you know? to replace the back and I don't want to break it so I'm gonna ask Jonathan if he knows how to take that out otherwise we might just end up doing like Merry Christmas on the front and then a song list in the middle and then like maybe a little note from the kids on the back I think that's good enough I mean that's what sits in the front and that's what matters all done I can't make the cookies because we don't have any ginger left, which if I'd realized that before I'd gone to the shops, I should have looked before I went, but oh well. Um, anyway, I am going to have my Christmassy drink that has been in the fridge for the last like four days. What's today? Today? Wednesday. Five days. Oh, <gasps> someone's opened it. Yeah, definitely. Someone's drunk out of that. Who would do that? Maybe it was Jonathan, but that doesn't make sense because he didn't want the first one. That's rude. Nah, it must have been Jonathan, eh? No one else would drink my drink of white chocolate stuff. Oh my god, guys, I just got an email from my university um, to say that I have an interview. Oh, my heart is going so fast right now. I'm so happy. Um, so my interview is next Friday. It sounds a little bit scary actually reading through the details. It says I have to write a report saying what I believe the qualities of an effective teacher are and also two challenges I believe teachers will face in the next five to ten years. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research which I mean is fair enough you are meant to do research for any interview you go to. Um, I thought it was just gonna be a chat though I didn't realize that I was gonna have to submit more writing, but that's all good. And there's also apparently a video clip that I need to watch before I go to the interview as well. So I may as well watch that now, hey. I'm just having my avocado and tomato on toast for lunch. I'm really not very creative when it comes to breakfast and lunch, but whatever. Finally got round to doing my makeup, even though it's like two in the afternoon now. Um, piano lessons have been cancelled for this afternoon, which is okay. It just means that we have even less time to get those Christmas CDs done. But, guys, look what arrived. I've been waiting for this. I ordered it probably like at least two weeks ago now, so let's go ahead and open it up. So I've never actually ordered from Tarte before, I've never tried any of their products, so I'm really really excited to try these ones out. It's all cruelty free, which is amazing. Not that all of my collection is cruelty free, but I do appreciate it when it is. This wrapping paper has little unicorns on it, I'm probably gonna have to re- oh I can't reuse it because it says Tarte. Ugh. So, 
here's my little package. I just got three little things. I did get a palette though. Hopefully nothing has smashed in there. Let's start with a mascara. So I picked up just a little mini mascara just to try it out and see if I like it. So this is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. You've probably seen it already, but this is what it looks like. It's purple with kind of like, is that snake skin design? Anyway, I'm not going to open it up because I want to save it for a first impressions video. Then I bought a blush because I've heard so many good things about Tarte blushes. These are probably the first product that I ever wanted to buy from Tarte. Probably like over a year ago I started thinking about buying a blush from them. Anyway, I picked up the shade Exposed because... Everyone raves about it, and that is what it looks like. It looks amazing. Cannot wait to use that. And then, the product that I'm probably the most excited for, as long as it's not smashed, is the Tarte Toasted Palette. Okay, cross your fingers for me. Don't be smashed. Okay, we're good. There we go. There's my brand new Tarte Palette. Okay, I've just cleaned it up a little bit. Don't those shades just look absolutely amazing? I'm probably the most excited for Cashmere, which is this one here, and Warmth, which is the one right next to it. I just love matte shades. Oh, actually, you can probably see just in the very corner of that one, it did smash a little bit, which is probably why there was so much shadow all over the palette, but fortunately nothing's completely smashed. That would have been a disaster. Oh, and Cozy. I mean, oh, all of those matte shadows just look absolutely beautiful. Shadow on my- oh! oh no, hang on. Nope, that's not coming off. Oh well. I should not have opened- okay, lesson learned, do not open makeup on your bed because the eyeshadow goes on your bed sheets and then it stains and then you won't be able to get it off. Anyway, these products will be featured on my main channel in a few weeks. I'll be doing a get ready with me using them for the first time. I know I said that I was going to do one using my new ColourPop products and it is going up tomorrow as I'm filming this. Today for you guys as you're watching it is going to be up in a few hours. So Jonathan just came home from work with a Christmas gift from me. So this is from one of the teachers at school who I... I was in a class, one of his classes, all year, and that is a good looking box of biscuits. I was just saying to Jonathan, there is not a single one on there that I won't like. Normally there's like shitty biscuits in packets like this, but I actually like all of these. Honestly, I feel so grateful because every time this particular teacher has seen me at school over the last few weeks, he's stopped to like say how much help I was in his class this year and how much the kids miss me now that I've gone and it's just so sweet and I really miss the kids and I miss that class. <laughs> this is Jonathan's Christmas shirt for today. This is your favourite, right? Uh, it's a tie between this one and what happens on Friday. And this is my least favourite. <laughs> I just... <laughs> it just looks ah. so vicious. <laughs> A lot of the kids liked it today. Did they? That's good. Yeah. That was very good. Nice. Yeah. was your day? My day was fine, thank you. <laughs> How many more days have you got left at work now? One and a half. One and a half! Yay! <laughs> you excited? Sure. What's your biggest sure. plan for the holidays? Um, being productive. Being productive. What are you working on at the moment? This is like an interview. I'm sorry, this is weird. I am um, make, making a third game. Band of Us is making their third game. Nice. Um, I haven't told them about Band of Us. New, starting a new project, a new musical project. I'm going to continue writing my play as well. Nice. Yeah, so Jonathan has written a primary school production. For those of you who don't know, he wrote it with his friend and it's being put on next year. Um, Allegedly. 
allegedly. Well, it probably will be. Um, he's also writing a second play with the same friend, right? No, this play is just me. Oh, it's just you. The play is just me. The, the new musical is both of us. Okay, so there's a musical that from both of them, a play that just Jonathan is writing, and then he's also working on uh, or been making games with another friend as well. So they've released one. They've made a second one which they can't release for copyright reasons and they are currently working on game number three. Is that correct? That is correct. Big projects in the work. Mm. Been a busy boy this year. I've uh, been a busy boy in like the last month of this year. <laughs> no, you've been working on that. Um, well, you worked on the musical all year. True. Yeah. That's true. It is true. You've been working hard. It's now the next day. I um, ran out of time to end the vlog last night. Uh, by the time we came home it was quite late. We were both very very tired so I guess that's the end of today's vlog. <laughs> I will see you again for your tomorrow which is my right now. <laughs> Bye.